Just as important as it is to hire the right person for the job for them, it's just as important that you like the employer that you're gonna be working for. to use it okay. what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome so in today's video we will be having a conversation about the four points that will either get you a LinkedIn connection or an awful letter okay if you are new to the channel, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. That helps me show up on all of your friends, your family, your cousin, your aunties timeline. In today's video, we will be talking about the four points that will get you that a job offer that you've been looking for, okay? These are things that I've actually tried myself. And when I say it works like a charm, I mean that, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the video. When you are being invited to an interview, at this point, the employer or I guess interviewer has already paid attention to the fact of your experiences. They already know that you somewhat or all the way qualify, qualify for the job. So since this is the case, when you get into the job interview, make sure that you only speak about the experiences that apply to the job. If you have worked as a bartender and you are applying for a receptionist job, you should only be having a conversation about your customer service, about your likability, recover uh, maybe customer complaints or something. All of that should be what you're speaking about in your bartender position because the receptionist requires somebody of such. Even if you feel like you're not, you don't fully qualify for the job, that shouldn't even be in your mind. They already know that you're not experienced in the job. They've already looked at it. They've took the time to call you. They've took the time to email you. They took the time to set this up. So you being in doubt of yourself should be out of your mind by the time that you get to an interview process. My next point is to create genuine conversation. The conversation has to be flowing. The conversation has to be genuine. There will be a lot of applicants that are out there that are literally putting in the same type of effort and they're just doing what they are supposed to do? What questions should I ask in an interview? How do I ace my interview? And not taking that extra mile. And so having that genuine conversation would do that for you. And I can give you a little example. When I interviewed for a position, I did a little bit of research. I knew that it was a small team. I knew that me as an addition would be a, a big help for them. Like, so this company is growing and still growing. I knew this, and so when I came in, they were about five minutes um, late for the interview, and I was just sitting there patiently, and they came in, they were like, I'm sorry that I that we're, we're late, do you need anything, you know? And I was like, oh, it's no problem. I said, I actually just got done reading an uh, article about you guys, you guys just opened up this new building, and I know that it takes a lot, I know that it's just you guys in here. I said, it's pretty impressive that you guys are able to do that. And I said, it's, it's, it's great that you guys are giving me the opportunity to be a great addition to your team. That came out so, so much more genuine than me saying that, oh, it's no problem. I'm just happy to be here. Didn't it come off a little bit better? Ask them about their day. How, how, how is your day going? Do you guys work on a daily? Do you got, what do you guys do for fun? Have genuine conversation to find out like more about them that allows for you to kind of calm down in the situation so you're not overthinking it. So at this point, you kind of understand that, okay, they had a long day like me. They're no different than me. They're just looking for somebody to fill in this position and hoping that you are going to be the best candidate. And again, it is about your personality at this point. So they, they are okay with your experience. They want you to sell them on your experience and also put the topping on it with your personality to make sure that you fit in with the environment. That's important, you know? 
Not all environments are great environments. Okay. Also having genuine conversation will allow you to be able to learn the people that you're thinking about working for. Just as important as it is to hire the right person for the job for them, it's just as important that you like the employer that you're going to be working for. So have that genuine conversation to allow you to catch a vibe of these people that you're going to be calling your possible boss. Sometimes you can miss a bullet if you just have a little conversation. Now we're gonna move on to point three. More, of, this one's more of like a side note in a way, but it's, it's still a point at the same time. Take the beverage that they give you. The beverage, when they offer you a beverage, this is a strategic benefit for you, especially if you're someone that is nervous and that is having a hard time um, with uh, talking too much like myself I find myself rambling and rambling and rambling and sometimes I could just keep going and then I just look back and I'm like did I even allow the person to speak in front of me having that beverage in front of you and remembering that that beverage is your pause section it will be a natural pause somewhat of a calming feeling so the more sips you get the more calm you should feel. Now also in point three, make your interviewer feel like you care more about the company than you care about yourself. And what I mean by that is to simply not have the pick me attitude. Make sure that you're walking in there in confidence, knowing that you fit the description of the job and that you are looking for a career, not a job. So just as well, like I said before, just as well as you have to like me, I most definitely have to like you. In most situations, the interviewer, the interviewer is going to say, oh, we have a couple more candidates, so um, we'll get back to you as soon as we get through with you know, our interviews or whatnot. And the perfect response to that interviewer is to say, I totally understand. I know the position is pivotal to your success. Choosing the right person is important. This gives them the idea that you are okay if they don't call you back. Even though in your mind, you're like, offer me a job now. Give it to me now. But you have to hold your persona. You have to make sure that they understand that you are adulting, okay? You are adulting and you're okay. You're not looking for a job, you're looking for a career. I wanna make sure that everyone here is comfortable with the decision. And so you take your time on that decision. Do you think there's anything in the job responsibilities that I may have a learning curve with? This question is extremely beneficial because for one, it allows you to know the mindset of the interviewer before you leave. You know if they really liked you or not by the way that they answer that question. You also will be able to recover yourself. If they have a iffy response to that, you're able to figure out what exactly they think that you're gonna have a hard time with and then circle back and recover and, and let them know why you will overcome what they're so worried about. If they respond to that and they say something in the nature of, well, I think that you'll have a hard time with real estate. I think that is something that um, is necessarily necessary in the job, but I think that you will be able to learn it. If they say something in that nature, that lets you know that yes, they are worried about you not exactly knowing the industry that you're getting in, but they think that you're also capable of learning the industry that you are getting in. And so therefore, you won't have much of a worry. You can take that opportunity to reassure them. If they were to respond and say, oh, I'm unsure about you not having that real estate experience, I think that's very pivotal in the position and it might give you a hard time. If they ended up in a tone of that, that lets you know that they may have a problem with the fact that you don't have the experience that they need. This allows you the opportunity to recover. Say what you need to say, do what you need to do to make them comfortable with the decision of choosing you regardless of your experience. I find that to be extremely helpful because it lets me walk away from the interview knowing my stance. I know that you may call me back because of the response you gave me to the question that I asked. And if I'm gonna ask any question, that is the question I'm gonna ask, okay? As well as salary. Don't forget about the salary. 
I also have one more quick um, tip as well. And I learned this from a sales guy on YouTube. And if I remember his name, I will drop it down below. So mimicking the person across from you, like if they were to put their hand on behind their ear and then you know as the conversation go on you do the same if they cross their legs and lean back as the conversation goes on you cross your legs and lean back think about it when you're in a conversation with somebody and they're literally doing what you do you do feel closer to them or besides the words they're actually saying to you you really feel like this this is my person you know <laughs> You feel like that. And so try that in your next interview. Let me know how your next interview goes too. So that is it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. This helps my channel show up on everybody's timeline. Let me know how your interview has gone. If have you applied for a job in Dallas? How did it go? Did your interview go well? Tell me about your experience. If you guys have any other topics that you would like for me to talk about, make sure you also comment that below. I do read my comments. I respond to all comments. And if there's something to respond to, okay? Sometimes. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Mm, no. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Let me not. It's an interview. It's, a, it's an interview tip video. Really? Jesus Christ.